Welcome, my friends. The night of the nights has come. The night of the nights. Open your heart and your mind. Move to the rhythm and dance into your own beautiful reality. Feel free and expect the unexpected. We start in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Storm 113.1 Brought to you by STEM 11 Free. Good evening, good evening, Mark STEM. Pagut ka na ba? Gusto magkaroon na academic break? Walang ganun sis. <laughs> Huwag ka nang umasa pa. Till death do a spark nga, ika nga nila. I am Marceline Ramos. And your gorgeous and sexy like mermaid, I am DJ Kate Sun One. Your, your only, only radio DJ for life. life. Speaking of mermaid, here's our next song, Serena by Glock. Ako'y isang sirena, kahit anong sabihin nila, ako ay ubod ng ganda. Oh, Serena by Glock 9, that's quite unrealistic. But what if sirenas do exist? Duh, of course. It's definitely me. A gorgeous one like mermaid. By the way, time check is already 7 p.m. here in the Philippines. That's it for our last most requested song. Let's now proceed to Kwentong Bayan with Kababalaghan for our Halloween special story to keep everyone entertained. Good evening and happy Halloween everybody! Welcome to STEM 113.1. Your handsome DJ is here again, Marcelino Ramos. Also, the fierce and beautiful mom she Kate. Happy Halloween to our loyal listeners. Here's a story from 6 from downtown by Dean Francis Alvar. The wet market that will make our imaginations. Run wild. <laughs> oy, bili-bili na kayo. Ito, mura lang. Murang-mura lang yan. Oy, bili na kayo. Naku. Sariwang saring nga pa mga to. Pwede dito per kilo, per piraso. Kano sa kanyo? Dito na. Bili na kayo. Para tingin. Bili na. Ano ko sa inyo? Wow! This is totally a nice place. With so much fresh seafood. Yum! A week after I arrived in the city, I spent a day at the wet market, negotiating my way down the slippery floors and taking pictures. I was soon lost in the brilliant rainbow of fresh seafood, laid out in ice, suspended on hooks, swimming in plastic pails and low metal drums 
whose names brought back memories of my childhood. One stall sign captured my attention and got my taste buds going. <gasps> Wait a minute! Is this a tray of nato? <gasps> OMG! My parents love baking it in a mix of crushed garlic and spicy vinegar. Okay, do you want some? Mura lang yan para sa'yo, ganda. Is that a sirena? Wow! It's been a while since I last tasted that. Fresh sirena. I smiled to myself. Surprised at how many years had passed since I last tasted mermaid. When I was a child growing up in the south, my grandfather would take me out mermaid fishing. The boat of my memory was cramped and seemed ungainly in the water, but none of that mattered since I loved being out at sea with him. Wow! So many guys! Hmm. Why am I the only girl here, Lolo? Is it bad? It's okay, Pa! Since you're the only cute one here, <laughs> they think it's unlucky, but it does not matter to me that you're a girl. You're what God has given us, and that's all the luck we we'll need. At a precise position, with exact oceanic location was known only to him, my grandfather would drop the mayship anchor overboard and organize the fishing lines, stretching across the span of his arms the very fine filaments he purchased from American soldiers before they fled the Japanese. Apo, I think you should choose and attach the bite now. Okay! Yay! I get to open the large biscuit tin with the end of a spoon and sell like a piece of jewelry! Hmm... Lolo, look up. It's so beautiful. They are all shining so brightly. <laughs> wait, wait. Hmm. What should I choose? Hmm. This or this? <gasps> there! Wow! It's perfect. Hmm. This. I'll choose this gold. Scapular embossed the image of the Virgin Mary. Hmm, perfect. Wait, let me attach it. Hmm. Done! Lola, it's done up. Okay, very good. Now sit still. Be ready with now and wait. Then he slowly lowered the filament into the water. One hand and rolling calculated measures of length. Sometimes it took forever for a mermaid to bite. And I remember thinking that perhaps they had all the jewelry they'd ever need. Yes! Be ready at any time! The mermaids would catch range from two and a half to three feet in length. Their tails, excellent steam, grilled or boiled with tamarinds, wear an iridescent green flag with blue points of light. Halfway up was the bony flesh that was always cast away after cutting. The torsos were modeled with pink and gray. With protruding knobs where nipples would be. The thin arms ended in four fingers, a filmy web of flesh between each one. The egg shaped heads were crowned with pale string hair, like the ghost of seaweed, covering much of the face that was punctured thrice by torches colored eyes and a gasping mouth lined with a sharpie tiny teeth. Oh, here's one! Oh my! The mermaid is here! My grandfather would whisper upon sensing the line grow taut. Before exploding into action, 
standing up and reigning in the filament, hand over hand until the mermaid broke the surface of the sea. Unwilling to let go of the shiny bait, at his signal, I quickly extend the net, making certain to trap the glistening tail and to get rid of the hull of the mermaid into the boat, where my grandfather would exchange the string on one hand for a fire-handed club and strike the mermaid's head until it stopped moving. We got the mermaid, Lolo! Yes, yes, we won, we won! One was usually enough for our large family. But I remember during the times of Vesta how the sea would be dotted by little boats similar to my grandfather's. And how they'd return hours later, pitching low in the water, each with several mermaids. Hi, miss. Do you want some Serena? Uh, um, hmm. um, huh? They are small and their tails were not that green compared to before. Uh, why is that? Ah, the sirena nowadays are in this size, even in other stores. Oh, then I'll get this freshest looking one. Even though the price is... <laughs> hmm. Ah, by the way, is there a place that could grill it for me? Of course, ma'am. I'll do it for you for 100 pesos only. Huh? Aren't you over? I'll give you a handful of sea snails for free. Fine! Uh, oh. oh, you got me there. <laughs> okay, make it delicious, please. That was disgusting. The story gives me goosebumps. Tiba? Oh my gosh. Can you imagine eating a mermaid? That's weird. I can't even imagine how can they eat a Serena? With that look? Like, she. It gives me chills. All I can say, it's totally weird. I wonder what's the taste of the mermaids. <laughs> Anyway, stay tuned everyone. And that is our story for today. Thank you for listening. I am DJ Kate. I am Marcelino Ramos. And this is your, your only, only radio, radio DJ, DJ for life. It's the thought of being young when your heart's just like a drum, beating louder with nowhere to guard it. When it all seems like it's wrong Sing along, do out and join Into that feeling we're just getting started When the nights get colder And the rhythm starts to fall in behind Just dream about that moment When you look yourself right in the eye I, 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 I